Hello students and welcome to this quick screencast on photosynthesis and cellular respiration and why they're a cycle. Just like all my other videos, this is not meant for any profit, it's just meant to help you. And I'm going to use a couple of animated gifts from the Amoeba Sisters. And so I'd encourage you to check them out on YouTube and their excellent content. Okay, this uh, overview helps us to uh, with a little vocab. So autotrophs, like an automatic car can shift its gears, autotrophs can feed themselves. And so they're able to take uh, sunlight, carbon dioxide, and water and turn that into sugars that they can use, right? And, it, and as well, they give off oxygen that we enjoy breathing. So who are autotrophs? Um, plants, uh, algae, and many types of bacteria can do this. So then heterotrophs, like me or you or your dog, um, is going to take those sugars those glucose molecules and that oxygen that was produced. And we're going to use that and we're going to break it down in our mitochondria or in glycolysis. And we're going to make uh, energy and that energy is in the form of ATP. We are going to release water and carbon dioxide. All right. And so notice how the products of each are the reactants of the other. The products of heterotrophs or cellular respiration, carbon dioxide and water is what autotrophs need. That's what this big green arrow is saying. It's what plants need in order to do photosynthesis. The products of photosynthesis, which would be sugars and oxygen, are what we need to do cellular respiration. So without plants, it'd be very sad, right? We either eat plants or we eat things that ate plants. And without that, we wouldn't have any energy. So here's some nice animated gifts of uh, the chloroplast and the mitochondria, right? Remember that chloroplast is making lots of glucose and it's making it so that the plant uh, can ship it around and then get uh, sugars to places like its roots or its flowering buds where it's going to need to break down that sugar and make energy. All right, and how is it broken down? It's broken down with a mitochondria. So plants do have mitochondria, right? So that's a common misconception of students. All right, so this is the last slide, and this is the big one right here. I think this is just a beautiful gift they put together, right? See how the inputs or the reactants for cellular respiration were the products of photosynthesis, right? So we take that glucose and that oxygen, we're gonna use it to make carbon dioxide and water and energy. The carbon dioxide and water is what plants need to make glucose and oxygen. So I would encourage you to make flashcards, to model this and to really practice it. Good luck.